This isn't my normal starting position. Why well, am at a freaking parking lot? Well, I ran out of Tang on the way to the gym. Not, I, well, I didn't run out on the way, but I was out. So, a little Kroger stop, re-up. Got some apple juice as the, uh, as the intra workout. So, today's gonna be chest and shoulders. Uh, I'm not gonna go crazy on chest as it is um, in a compromised state, very mild pull, but I'll still uh, you know, do as much as I can without re-injuring it. So chest will be first, pretty much just uh, spam a few cable presses that I like, maybe do some pec deck or some cable flies, and that'll pretty much just be it, you know, get a pump, feel the burn on the sets, and then shoulders, honestly kind of similar, like the, the the intensity on shoulders is nothing like legs or something like that. Uh, it's really just gonna come down to how much, how, uh, how many just sets of lateral raises can you handle without losing your mind. Like for side delts, I mean, I could just sit in front of the dumbbell rack, do 11 sets of dumbbell lateral raises. I'd have no problem with it. But if you've got an ADHD dopamine dependent brain, I could see how uh, that could seem a little bit repetitive. But hey, man, that's, that's what fucking works. So let's drink this pre and then get in there. So again, I mean, nothing super special with this chest workout. Uh, really, it's just like, this is the only movement where I can go reasonably heavy and not, you know, feel my chest getting pulled. So by that logic, it makes sense to just spam it. So I'll probably do maybe, I mean, I'm gonna finish with this. But maybe I'll throw in some flies as well. <laughs> so again, no tang. Just got a half a gallon of apple juice. <laughs> like a fucking toddler. <laughs> <laughs> but again, my logic when bulking at least is I always just like to drink a sugary intro workout drink. Might give you a little bit of extra energy, but also it's just gonna give you more calories. Like how many carbs are in here? Like 200 grams of carbs, and I'm not even thinking about it. That's, that's not nothing. Again, not going crazy on the weight, but I think I'll do two sets of uh, Flies super setted right into some cable press. Last set will do presses supersetted with the flies. That ought to be pretty good. All right. Get the saturation turned down. Turn up the exposure. Let's see what we're working with here. Even with a pretty rudimentary lift. Or actually, is rudimentary even the right term? I want to say basic. Even though the chest was 
pretty much just those cable presses and some flies, of course. Uh, still, got a super good pump from it. Now, of course, that would make sense because, you know, even though it was light-ish weight, I still went through a considerable range of motion and got a good contraction at the bottom. So, oh my goodness. Oh, holy hell. Whew. Not a, uh, Jesus, yeah, not much commentary to be made apart from just saying, holy shit. So, chest pumped, certainly to my satisfaction. Let's, uh, let's get some shoulders going. So, my shoulders, it's seriously hard to just beat the basics. For root else, I'm just gonna do probably six sets of uh, reverse pec deck. No drop set or nothing, just 15, 20 reps. And then move on to, uh, to something else. Boy. Ended up just sitting on the reverse pec deck for all 11 sets. Uh, I mean, hell, it activates the rear delts. Get a really good squeeze. Like, I can, I can already tell I got a fucking huge pump going on back there. Whether you can see through the pump cover or not. Whatever. So, on to side delts. Thinking I'm going to start off with uh, at least six sets of just lateral raises. And with these, it's especially important in my mind, not to just like grab whatever weight and just bounce it around. Like grab a weight you can handle and then you should start to feel your side delts tense up when you get to the top. And I recommend this for all lifts when you're doing more of like a, uh, an isolation, like not as much for squats or something, but for curls and leg extensions and flies. When you get to the top, it, you don't have to pause the weight, but just for a moment, try to flex it extra hard. So if you're doing curls, it would feel like, you know, whatever, whatever, curl, 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 you get to the top, it's just a little extra something. <laughs> I, uh, I've been told before that when I'm just walking around the gym, I kind of have a, uh, like an unapproachable vibe. <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't think it's even just because of the size. I think it's because I, uh, like if I'm just sitting in between sets, you know, I'm not really, <laughs> not really smiling or anything. I'm just sitting, I'm being all serious. That's funny for me to hear. Let's 
a goddamn monsoon out right now. It just chilled out, but there's it's thundering. I'm all wet. Aish. Let's just get straight into the Dextro shake. God damn it. Especially if you're eating a lot of food, the Dextro shake is gonna hit your stomach hard. Oh, yeah, that's kind of fucked up. Good for you though. Good for gains at least. So let's get out of there. Chest felt good. Rear delts felt good. Side delts felt good. Uh, my sleep's been kind of whack. I'm just, uh, not even just because I've been sleeping at weird times. But uh, the last couple of days, I've been, I had some erroneous tasks to complete. So I kind of let my sleep get away from me. I can kind of, uh, a good telltale sign of your level of arrestedness is going to be your grip strength, right? Uh, don't tell me how I know this. I just, I just heard it somewhere. Somebody was talking about it. But... I can vouch for it. Like, let's say you, uh, it's midday, you got a lot of food in you, and you just squeeze your fist uh, as hard as you can, like you flex your whole forearm. You should be able to gauge uh, how much strength you can exert at that one moment. So, obviously, if you had like a dynamometer, I think that's the term, the little grip test uh, that reads your force output. Uh, if you didn't get any sleep and you didn't eat a lot of food and you're like, oh, you're straight up exhausted, you're not gonna be able to squeeze as hard. But whatever. So, wasn't in a perfectly ideal situation before that lift. And honestly, freaky. Honestly, um, like even through chest and rear delts, I was feeling like tired. I'm like, ah, jeez. All right, more sets to go. Uh, but then I came around with a second wind. I um, I was scrolling a few TikToks in between sets. I saw a few that kind of hyped me up. And then finished off side delts super hard. Sweet pump. So even if you're tired, you can catch a second wind if you can get excited enough. You know. And uh, let's take it to the extreme. You know, you go to the gym. You're tired, and you're thinking to yourself, wow, I am really tired. This sucks. You keep looking at the clock. Oh, man, this is the worst. Oh, I'm so fucking tired. I should just go to bed. Right? Whatever. If you've got that mentality, uh, you're not, you are not going to get a second win. Because, uh, like, you're just, by saying that to yourself, you're making that your reality, that you're really tired, right? Uh, if you think it, that's another score. That's another story. But like, worst thing you could do is walk around to somebody and be like, "Man, I'm, s dude, I am so tired right now. Oh, this sucks." Right? At least say some shit like, "Man, I'm fucking tired." Uh, <laughs> that sounds so dorky. I am, oh, dude, I'm really tired. I'm gonna get after it anyway. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, some of the motivational crap like that, it uh, it does sound kind of silly. It does, it's a little, uh, it's very cliche. But I, there's some truth to it, you know. You may, I, somebody was, uh, someone left a comment. How do you, how do you work out when you're tired? How do you still go hard when you're tired in the gym? Because I, I was tired on my leg day yesterday. Uh, yeah, yesterday. And, you know, still went hard. And really, I mean, it's just like a, it's just how bad do you want it, you know? 
because what's motivating you to go to the gym and go hard? Let's simplify the situation and just say you want to make progress, right? You want to get bigger, stronger, whatever, leaner maybe, whatever. you know, you want to make progress, right? That is the motivation or that's the, uh, that's the goal. That's the benefit that you're trying to achieve, right? But the cost to get there is you got to go to the gym and you got to work out, right? You got to exert energy, uh, you know, become relatively uncomfortable for a little while. And, uh, in some cases, if you're tired, I mean, it's going to be hard. So if you don't really want to get that big, you know, if you don't have that a larger portion of the, uh, the motivation compared to, you know, how much you want to not be in the gym and like working out, then you're not gonna, you know, you're just gonna skip that day. You're not gonna go in whatever, right? Cause you want to kind of, you, you don't want to go hard more than you want to get big. If you can imagine what I'm saying, right? So, you know, even if you're tired, I mean, and you've got a crap lift, you know, you're not, the pump's not really coming along. In the long term, it's just going to be way more beneficial for you to push through it, make it to the end, you know, overcome some level of adversity in your life. It's kind of funky in the first world. It's like, you know, you go up, you grow up, you go to school supposed to get a job that's the end of it that's the average person so what's uh what does a hero do in a story right what's uh what does the main character do you know he uh overcomes some level of adversity and he uh shit what am i thinking of uh, what is the, what am i I'm gonna scratch this out. Whatever, who gives a fuck. So, end of the day, you'll feel better to just go in the gym and hit it, toughen up. So, tomorrow's gonna be back day. Interestingly enough, uh, it will actually be during daytime. Can you believe it? <laughs> a lift that doesn't end in the AM. Incredible. So I'm going to go home, take my vitamins, shower off. Uh, if I'm responsible, I'll fold my laundry mm, to be determined and uh, go to bed. So another lift under the belt. Or you can, uh, the more lifts you can finish in your lifetime, the better. That's what I, uh, I would certainly imagine that to be true. So. I will see you next time, goddammit.